Hi, this is John Perkins. Hi, I'm Craig Bell. You know, John, we all know that robbing a bank is wrong, and we all know that murder is wrong, but what about telling little white lies? Is that okay? We're going to talk about that on Take 5. A melon farmer's crop of melons were disappearing fast from his field. Thieves were continually stealing the melons under the cover of night's darkness. The farmer finally became desperate, and in an attempt to save his crop from vandals, he decided to put up a sign. The sign had on it a skull and crossbones, and it read, One of these melons is poisoned. Only the farmer knew that it was not true. Sure enough, for two nights, not a single melon was missing. But after the third night, the farmer noticed that the sign had been altered. Someone had scratched out the word one and replaced it with another word. So now the sign read, two of these melons are poisoned. (laughs) Thinking to save his whole crop through deception, he lost the whole crop because he didn't know for sure if the other melon was really poisoned or not either. (laughs) So what's the Bible say, John, about lying and deception and all of these things? Well, in Proverbs 6 and 16 through 19, it's the, the seven things the Bible declares that God hates. And two of those seven about lying. In verse 17, it says, A proud look, a lying tongue, and the hands that shed innocent blood. And then when you skip down to verse 19, a false witness that speaketh lies and sows discord among the brother. So two of the seven sins that God hates, that God declared that he hated, was about lying. Also, when Moses brought down the Ten Commandments, one of them happened to be Thou shalt not bear false witness against my brother. You know, and I think bearing a false witness could also tie in with uh, not necessarily telling a lie, but just making somebody believe a lie, right? Exactly. I mean, the Bible talks about in Revelation chapter 21, verse 27, There shall in no wise enter into it, speaking of heaven, anything that defileth, nor whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Is there a difference, John, in telling a lie and making a lie? I'd say there is for sure. I agree. I think we can make a lie by making somebody believe something that's not true by the way we spin our words, by the way we try to make it sound and look, even though we may not outright speak the lie. Do you think that's the reason in court you hold your hand on the Bible, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? <laughs> Absolutely. And we put our hand on the Bible to swear that because the Bible's clearly against lying, right? Exactly. You know, John, I, uh, I, you mentioned the Ten Commandments, and I also think that when it says in the Ten Commandments, uh, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, we think of cursing. But put this spin on it, you know, taking the name of the Lord upon yourself in vain, as in, I'm a Christian, I'm taking the name of Jesus on me, and deceiving when really you're not, you're a hypocrite. Hypocrisy never gets you anywhere, does it? Yeah, I've never thought of that one really, Craig. Mark Twain told a story about a man who was a notorious liar uh, who was known in the community for spinning all his tall tales, and nobody believed anything he said. And Mark Twain said one day they found him hanging dead with a suicide note pinned on him, written by his own handwriting, and saying that he had taken his own life, but the coroner's jury pronounced it murder. They said (laughs) if the man himself said he had taken his own life, that was proof enough that he hadn't. Nobody believed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a reputation, John. I mean, you know, nobody wants that reputation. So the question comes now, should a Christian lie? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> are there different colors of lie, John? You know, is a, is a white lie, you know, is it different than a, than a purple lie or a pink or a black lie? Or, you know? In man's eyes, there is. But in God's eyes, we shouldn't lie. We should always tell the truth. That's true. I believe, John, when we lie, we are saying that we don't trust the Almighty God to handle the outcome. We feel like we have to change the outcome with our lie because God's not big enough to handle it. It's almost a slap in the face of God when we lie. Remember Peter lied at the fire at the trial of Jesus? Yes. When they uh, they came to him and they asked him, are you with Christ? He even cussed, said a curse word and said, I know not the man. he done it three times. I don't know him, a flat-out lie. And that was to save his life. But, you know, Jesus could have saved his life if he had trusted him, right? Yes. So really when we lie like that, we're really saying to God, we don't trust you, God. We have to take the outcome in our hands. So really, it's never okay for Christians to lie. No. 
Aren't you glad, John, that God doesn't lie? Yes, it is impossible for God to lie. Friends, if you'd like to hear more words of encouragement, find us on Facebook under Old Fashioned Revival and on Parlor under Old Fashioned Revival.